Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a geode inspired nail art with a little bit of an influence from resin. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Okie dokie, I'm going to be using a stilato nail for this one. I think it will show really nice on the length. I mean, I'm all for length, guys, of nails, that is. Uh, <laughs> we love long nails. Can't function with them if I paint, but for some reason, like when I used to work in an office, always used to have extra, extra long nails. It's also a great excuse not to lift stuff in the office, you know? <laughs> I can't with my nails. So I've applied a baby's breath on this. I'm gonna let it cure and then go in for the second layer. Okie dokie. So before we start our design, I want to be applying a nice layer, thin one of, <laughs> I'll get there eventually, blooming gel on the snail because that's what's going to help us create that gorgeous kind of god look you know so i'm going to apply a nice thin layer all over the nail and leave the nail to one side so it's ready for me to go when i prep the other colors all right so I've put the layer of blooming gel and now I'm gonna be using a few colors, right? Um, so I'm gonna be using, let's see, a glass and a half. So I'm gonna just apply a line on my palette just like so. And then I'm gonna do the same with all the rest of the colors, just applying some lines next to each other. Make sure the colors kind of touch each other. So you can pick them up with your ombre brush easily. I'm gonna go in with white as well. By the way, I've just used Amethyst Fall. I forgot to mention that. So I'm gonna apply that. A little bit of Utopia. That's a gorgeous name. And color. I'm gonna put that just in between here and maybe a little bit of rum raisin in the just over here Ooh, but very thin layer it's not dropping there we go um going to add slightly more white just in case feel like it needs it so I've laid the colors on and I'm just going to kind of just marble it a couple of times just to get a little bit of a um, some lines going across and I'm gonna pick that up on my ombre brush <laughs> and I'm gonna just literally start mapping out my geode kind of my ringlets for the for the stone so you can see how we got the rings over here now what ah, i'm going yeah. to do just to add a little bit more detail i'm going to go in with my triple zero three brush hello drew have you hidden it <laughs> i haven't touched it <laughs> Well, I get to blame you, so it's nice. Anyway. It's not nice I'm, for me. <laughs> I'm uh, going to add a little bit more white, I think. Just on top. To add a little bit more detail. And we're doing it on the blooming gel, so it's not going to be as kind of you know fine mm. it's gonna spread out a bit it's gonna spread out a little bit okay. 
gonna add a little bit more glitter here a little bit more over here lovely I'm going to add just a little bit of dark purple as well sometimes you have to kind of place it on top because it makes it look better you know don't just um, rely on your blooming gel to do the work for you so I'm happy with the way it looks now I'm just gonna pull the lines through over here so it looks a bit more curved and I'm gonna pop this in to the lamp so we've got this over here cured I'm going to use one of our um, brushes now it comes in our you know we sell a pack of uh, art brushes online Just check them up on the website we'll link it somewhere here below i'm going to be using our flat brush and just picking up some of that gold that i've mixed up over here earlier and i'm just going to kind of um do a really flat line over here I want to have a couple of um, lines on top as well, but I want to just kind of mark up the edges of this stone. And then I'm going to be just adding a little bit, probably with my 003 brush, um, of gold in the center or just next to it, something like that. So it gives a bit more of a geode vibe do you know what i'm saying i'll get you <laughs> someone has to <laughs> so i've got a little bit of gold in the center now i'm going to pop this into the lamp and then continue adding some more gold detail okay so we've cured that gold section over there i'm going to just go into that gold and now add thicker lines on top of the flat gold surface that we've painted earlier so i'm just adding a little bit more texture i think it just looks so good having a couple of lines that are just sticking out i'm gonna add a little bit more It doesn't have to be exactly where you finish that gold um, application earlier on. It's just something to kind of make the gold section pop out a bit more. I'm going to add a little bit more. Probably even a tinier line over here. And then I'll add a little bit more detail over here. Maybe thicken it up a little bit. Do a really thin line in the midsection. And I'm going to pop this into the lamp. I love it. Now, you could potentially, if you wanted, add some glitter in the midsection. But I'm going to leave it here um, because I like it the way it is. And I think it's just stunning. So I'm going to go in with our Urban Graffiti Top Coat. And I'm going to apply a nice thin layer all over the nail. For me um i kind of want it to be slightly bumpy because i like the texture the texture i love textures on nail love it so for me yes bumpy nails all the way mm -hmm. so i'm going to just apply a nice thin layer just to make sure we don't lose 
those gold lines on top as well. Brush it into the gold. And then cap the rest of the nail. Now pop this into the lamp. And this is our geode nail kind of resin inspired. Do you know what I, what I mean when I say like resin? Because yeah, you know how they I pour everything and you've yeah, got the real yeah. ringlets. And, uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Something abstract, fun, lovely. Uh, you can wear it on so many like different nails. I mean, I can just try and show you like what it looks like. It's just stunning, right? Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful, gorgeous. beautiful abstract nail. And you can wear it with a full set that's purple. And you can have obviously the abstract design going in different directions to make it a bit more, you know. Um, Each one unique. Yeah, more unique, yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below um, what you'd like to see next. And as usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all on the next one. Take care, guys.